Welcome to this tutorial on how to play Goes to Shit by Prelo. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning three parts. We're going to learn the chorus, we're going to learn the verse, and we're going to learn the bridge. As you can see in the video, it was played in the introduction. A lot of these chords are bar chords. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to teach power five chords. So if you're a beginner, you can play these as well. If you are advanced and you know how to play the bar chords, you can substitute the bar chords for the power chords. So let's go ahead and start by learning the chords here. We have a D flat chord. So your index is going to be on the fourth fret of the A string. Ring finger and pinky are on the sixth frets of the D and the G string. And you're just going to play those three strings. For your B minor chord, you're going to have the same shape shifted all the way down to the first fret here. Ring finger and pinky are on the third frets, and if you'd like, you can add your middle finger to the second fret of the B string. Just play those four strings. So that's your B minor. You can shift this shape all the way up here to the sixth fret for your E flat minor. So your index is on the sixth fret, pinky and ring fingers here are on the eighth fret, and your middle finger is on the seventh fret. And again, you just want to play the A, D, G, B strings. Um, for our A flat chord, we can have our index on the 4th fret, the low E, middle finger on the 5th fret of the G, ring finger on the 6th fret of the A, with your pinky right under on the 6th fret of the D, and just play those four top strings. And then you can just shift that shape down to the 2nd fret for your G-flat chord. And those are the chords. So right now we have a D-flat, we have an E-flat minor, we have a B-flat minor, a G-flat major chord, and a D-flat, or sorry, an A-flat major chord. Okay, so the first progression goes like this. We're going to be on our D-flat chord. I'm going to be playing it as a bar chord. If you're a beginner, you can play it as the power 5 chord that I taught you. And our strumming is going to go like this. Down, down, up. And we're going to switch to our A-flat chord. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. To our E-flat minor. And that's the progression for the verse. So let's go through this again nice and slow. Okay, so that's the progression for the verse. For the chorus, or the bridge actually, we're going to go to our B flat minor chord. And that's going to be our progression, which is pretty similar to what was on that E minor. So down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. And we're going to go to our A flat. Same chord, strumming pattern. Back to our B flat minor. G flat. Okay, so playing through the bridge here all together, it's going to sound like this. And that leads into the pre chorus actually the chorus itself, which sounds like this. Okay, so we're going to start out, it's a similar progression to what's in the verse, it's D flat, A flat, to E flat minor. And we 
we can start with just going down, 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 down for four. Switching to our A flat, down, down, down for four. To our E flat minor. That's a minor chord. One, two, three, four, and then if you'd like, you can split it and go down to your G flat here. And that's it. And you can play that throughout the chorus. Um, if you'd like to get a little crazy, you can start adding that strumming pattern I was doing in there. So like this. So really the main progression is just this D, A flat, and your E flat minor chord. I know that's a lot, especially if you're a beginner. Um, I went through that all quickly, so if you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.